Welcome in front of me I have Amazfit Balance 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First we need to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the lower button. Keep holding the button until you see the Amazfit logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. Uh, okay, so let's wait. And once the watch is done booting up, you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through it, find the language you would like to use, and once you find it, you can tap on it. Then tap on the check mark, and basically we need to download and install the Zep application on the phone we want to pair our watch with and use it to pair the devices together. So go to your phone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store. Let me lower screen brightness a bit. Oh, like this. Okay. In the Play Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in Zep. And on the search results, you should see your Zep application with this icon. Tap on the install button to install it and wait until the application is done installing. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open to open it. And the app you will need to log in into a Amazfit account. If you don't have one, you can tap on sign up right here to make a new one and then you can use it to log in. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on login, enter the email address and password. Tap on login. Okay, let me check it. Now we are logged in, Not now, and after you log in you will see home page, now tap on device, watch, allow the required permissions, and then it will open the camera app, and basically what you need to do is to scan the QR code from your watch, so you need to point the phone's camera at the watch, it will scan the code, and then you can continue with the pairing. Something went wrong, wrong. Let's try again. Oh, this time it works. Okay. If you see this page, tap next. And here we can allow some permissions. This is for the notification access, so if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you will need to enable or allow the required permissions. If you don't care, you can also skip this step, but I'm gonna allow it. Next, we have the Bluetooth calls. Basically, it will allow you to uh, accept decline calls on your watch and stuff like that. Basically, not on your watch per se, but with your watch. So if somebody calls you on your phone, you will be able to answer the call or decline it and stuff like that. If you want to use it, you will need to enable the required permissions or allow them. Uh, if you don't care, you can of course skip it by tapping on skip. Same with the calling contacts, you can skip it or allow the permissions. Then we have the voice comments, you can skip it or allow the required permissions. And the calendar sync. Again, it will basically give you notifications about the events from your calendar and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you want to enable it, tap on enable and allow. And last one is the weather location. This is useful for the weather and I believe some other features, but not sure. You can skip it or enable it. And once you're done with the permissions, you have the option to select on which side you prefer the buttons, then tap next and wait until the watch is done setting up. Then we can tap on done, done. And at this point, you should see your watch on the device page. And if you wake up the screen on it, 
it should be ready to use. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.